Here I am, the birthday boy. Oh. Ta-da! I went all out to make it a memorable day, and everything matches. Oh, Mom, this is a nightmare! You don't like it? The nice lady at the store said it's the latest craze. Take it down. Take it all down. But I spent hours setting these up. And look at them. Aren't they simply adorable? Exactly. And that's why they need to disappear really fast before my friends get here and see this horror scene. This situation calls for desperate measures. But they're so cute. I slipped into Fort Knox in less than five minutes. So why do you resist me, you stupid lock? <laughs> well, these aren't mine. What? No time for small talk. This is an emergency. I need your expertise. Fast! What seems to be the problem? Forgot to do your homework and you need to destroy your school? No, no, no. Worse than that. Oh, I see. Beanie. How many times do I need to repeat this? You must raise the seat cover. That's not even close to being funny. Well then, maybe I'll go and be funny by myself inside my castle. Uh, no, wait. Let me explain. I'm listening. Mom completely lost her mind and covered the whole place in cute birthday bunnies. <laughs> it's awful! <laughs> you mean, that's not what you had in mind when you promised everybody that your birthday party would be, um, rock on, way cool, full ride, you'll die of envy, birthday party extravaganza? Yeah, something like that. Mom will make me look like a total dork. Who loves cute bunnies? This is a nightmare. Why don't you look at it from the positive side? It's not too late for you to run away and start a new life elsewhere, hopefully very far from here. Stop joking. Are you going to help me or not? Will you let me out of this insulting birdcage if I do? No. I've got enough problems as it is. I don't need to worry about you ruining my party even more. Well then, I can't wait to hear how your party turned into a complete disaster story. Happy birthday. You are the cruelest fish that ever was. Thank you. Baby, your guests are here. Oh. I spent the whole week planning, sending birthday invites, writing a detailed gift list, making sure Desmona doesn't know about it, and I end up with a birthday full of fluffy bunnies. I'll never live this down. It's just not fair. Beanie was looking forward to this so much. Don't forget, it's my birthday. I sure hope y'all get this and that. Everybody will be there. It'll be fantastic. And Mom beats me to the finish line, ruining it before it even begins. Oh, the injustice of it all. But don't worry, birthday boy. Even though you forgot my birthday, I sure didn't forget yours. Elwood! Great to see you! Um, why don't we stay here in the hallway, huh? Sounds cruel, doesn't it? Your party's in the hallway? Well, uh, not, not exactly, but it sure isn't in the living room, either. <laughs> well, what about the others? We'll warn them. I mean, we'll uh, meet them downstairs. You're early, and Mom hasn't finished setting things up, you know. Hello, Elwood. Come on in. You're the first, and on time. Looks like I'm not so early after all. What's with the bunnies? This is your rock-on, way cool, full rad, you'll die of envy birthday extravaganza? It's, uh, my mom. She... Oh, don't sweat it. I understand. Remember my birthday? The pink flowers and all? But the nice lady at the store said it's the latest craze. Yeah, I remember now. That nice lady is a menace to every birthday kid in the city. You'd think she works for my goldfish. Nah. Well, speaking of which, what have you done with him? I put his fishbowl in a locked birdcage. Doesn't sound very protective. It's a trick cage. I put him in there when he was asleep last night. The lock is only a decoy. It doesn't work. <laughs> Pretty sneaky of you. Yeah. He pulled that one on me a few months ago, so now I'm using it against him. He's probably trying to chew the lock off by now. This is impossible! No lock can resist me. There must be some kind of invisible force field protecting it. Unless that no good double-faced red-haired monkey is serving me back some of my own medicine. ma ha, -ha! I'll be free in no time. I'm free! Uh-oh. <gasps> Good. That should keep them distracted while I set up my big birthday surprise. But I'd better act fast. Fuzzy bunnies are not my doing, I swear. Huh? Come on in, you guys. You've got to see this. Traitor. Mama, ha! 
Charles, my favorite grandson. I'm your only grandson? Don't be a smart aleck. Where's your mother? I totally blew it with the decoration, and now the food's getting warm. What's next? Mom! Nana's here! <sighs> At least things can't possibly get any worse now. Ew, spider. I hate spiders. Looks like my birthday surprise shall have a chilling effect on Beanie's party. Call me mom. It's not because your husband, my son, has been absent that we're not family anymore. You're right, mom. It's such a nice surprise to have you with us. Everybody, this is Beanie's grandma. You can all call me Nana. <sighs> I'll get it. Don't mind me. It's only my birthday. Thank you, dear. You're a good boy. And get me a nice cup of mineral water while you're at it, won't you? Don't forget the slice of lemon. I'll get you that glass of water. Why does she always treat us like her servants? What's the absent thing about Beanie's dad? I thought he was, you know. His dad was in a plane crash. They never found the plane or any survivors. I guess she hopes he'll turn up alive someday. Me too. Elwood? Yeah? What's with the bunny decorations? Stanford! I'm surprised you accepted my invitation. Yes, well, I thought I'd get a few laughs out of this. Happy birthday! I'm glad you're finally growing up. Um, uh, welcome aboard. I'll never hear the end of those bunnies for sure now. This is unbelievable! You've got happy bunnies for your birthday decorations! Happy bunnies! Look, it's my... <gasps> They're the latest craze! They're the must thing for the in crowd! I begged my mother to get them, but the nice lady from the store made her buy a stupid pirate kid instead! <gasps> and you even have the matching plates and napkins! This is too much! I knew I could trust my instincts. Someone up there watches over me. This is a conspiracy. Is everybody going to ruin Beanie's birthday before I get a chance to? Now, why don't you all gather around the table so I can flash freeze you in a... Well, flash. Beanie! It's... Everybody! It's... Oh! An admirer. Well, that's just my grandma... You call me Nana! <laughs> well, Nana, don't forget... Not you, darling dear. You call me Mom. Mom, don't forget why we're all here. You don't need to steal his limelight. It's his birthday, not yours. Well, I was just trying to liven things up a bit, darling dear. Don't judge me. It's not polite. You're enjoying my party? Well, I wouldn't say enjoy, but it sure is interesting. What's next, a clown with balloons? <laughs> oh, never. I'll get it. Please don't let it be a clown with balloons. Anything but a clown with balloons. Come in. They're in the living room. Okay, I stand corrected. I'll take the clown and the balloons. Beanie, you forgot to tell me you had invited her too. Don't worry, I'll just set up one more plate at the table. Finally, gather round the table. Closer. Closer. What's keeping you, you bunch of amoeba brains? Here. I got you this. Howard Chaser, personal insurance. Thanks. Are we doing the gifts already? Why not? Everybody gather around the living room. Beanie's opening his gifts. What? That's it. I've had enough. You want to be in the living room? Fine with me. I sure hope you don't have it. Wow! The Techno Man Full Body Laser Shield Mark II helmet. This is great. Thanks, Elwood. Check this out. Cool. How do I look? Like a dork. Really? Like a cute dork. Really? Or like a tinfoil potato. There you go, Beanie Dearest. From your wonderful Nana. Wow. A pocket of six. Thanks, Nana. <laughs> Come here, you hoes. <clears throat> ah, now, that's it. Stay nicely bunched around Beanie. Hasta la vista. No! What 
What is this treachery, you useless hose? Why don't we move on to the cake? Wonderful idea, darling dear. Oh, I hope it's not chocolate. You know it gives me rashes. Yes, I know. But Beanie loves chocolate. Meaning... <laughs> the important thing is to stay level-headed and not lose my goal because of these uncooperative yo-yos! <laughs> <laughs> this would be fairer if I had legs. Unless I chop everybody else's legs off. Mm. Look at that. This is such a perfect portrait. It needs to be frozen in time. Wait! There's Mum! How awful. Chocolate. Make a wish! <laughs> Happy Day to me. <laughs> The party begins! Oh. <laughs> oh, guys, for me, you shouldn't have. Well, you didn't, but it's the thought that counts. Oh, wow! A hundred and one ideas to save the planet. Exactly what I didn't want or need. That's it? No plutonium? No death rays? Sheesh. Let's see. <laughs> Freeze everybody. Check. Ruin Beanie's party. Check. Open gifts. Check. What am I forgetting? Ah, yes. Flash freezing the whole building! <laughs> Stay as you were. I'm just going to get myself a refill of water. I am a fish, after all. Well, I'm here! Rejoice! It's me, Slappy, the life of the party! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, tough crowd. Huh? Oh, no! She's frozen solid! They're all frozen solid! What did that evil goldfish of mine do? And how to undo it? Well, now, that should do the trick. Ah, Beanie, I'm going to miss your mindless banter and untimely interventions. No, no, I won't. Did you do something with your hair? Something's different. What did you do? Beanie! I guess that silly helmet provided you with some kind of protection from my freezer weapon. Nothing will protect you if you don't unfreeze my mom and friends this very instant! Understand? What am I? The microwave oven? And what makes you think I can unfreeze them? What are you saying? They're frozen forever? What if I warm them back to normal? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Your only hope is to warm them up as fast as they were frozen. Otherwise, their molecular structure might shatter. And how do I do that? That's your problem, not mine. You've got a minute to find a solution or so help me! I missed you once, but I won't miss you twice! Catch him and force him to return you to normal. I'll save you. You too, Elwood. Hang in there. I'll save you too, Mia. And I find you really, really hot. <clears throat> well, you yeah, know what I mean. In fact, I'll save you all! The second I find a way to climb all the way up there.
Follow your hose, it always knows. Let's see how much this baby can take. How will we manage to freeze the whole building? Okay, that should do it. Once, just once, it'd be nice if he came up with an easy to access evil scheme. That should do it. Ouch! Uh oh. Ouch? Since when do hoses go ouch? <laughs> Beanie goes ouch. But let me show you the true meaning of ouch. Sorry, Beanie. I'm going to have to cut you short. Why are you doing this? That's what I do. I'm evil. Don't you follow the show? You could have taken a little break for my birthday, couldn't you? Oh, and did you do anything special for my birthday? No! Your birthday? Is that what this is all about? Would giving me a birthday card have killed you? <laughs> Stop. That tickles. Then I guess you'll simply die laughing. <laughs> oh, it, hey. Why don't you fall off already? Hang on, Barry! Whatever you do, hang on! Good job, Beanie. Now you only have to... I did it! I did it! We're saved! Sorry to contradict you, but in a few seconds, the tank will fall into the building furnace where it'll heat up and explode, sending a blast of super hot steam our way. Why can't you just collect stamps or something? Less wit, more crawling. Fast! Now would be a good time to go faster. Wow, Beanie, that was one mighty blow. <laughs> Everybody, please, it's not polite to laugh at Beanie's mom's appearance. She's doing her... Mom, why don't you just relax? Here, let me help you take that scarf off. Oh, dear. <laughs> Can't be seen like this. I've got to go. Goodbye. I'm sorry your birthday wasn't what you'd hoped it would be. That's okay, Mom. In the end, what's important is that I was with all the people I care for. E except you miss him. Yeah. I do too. Look inside. Oh. I think it'd be nice if you had it. Do you think that he's, you know, that he'll come home? I don't know, Beanie. Sometimes life is stranger than fiction. It sure is. Good night and happy birthday. Good night, Mom. Once again, you've gone to a thousand troubles, scheming and plotting evil plans, and in the end, you've totally failed to succeed or ruin my birthday. Well, I have only one thing to say to you. Happy birthday! I... It's a... Sorry I missed your birthday. I can understand how upset you must have felt. Beanie, I am... Um... Just blow your candle already. <gasps> Now that's a birthday surprise! <laughs>